Hello, I am Yunju Lee, head of the FMCG business division of the marketing research company Embrain. When the COVID-19 pandemic first started in 2020, you didn't think it would last this long, right? COVID-19 has shaken up all of our lives in a very short time. Students take online classes instead of going to school and telecommunicating has become the norm. Even small daily routines as going to the movies or going to the supermarket have become tasks that require a lot of courage to do. Since it started affecting people's standards of living and consumption, there were big changes in the food market. The personal care market is also changing rapidly as the need for health and safety grows. However, consumers are changing as much as the markets are. In today's lecture, I will share with you briefly about the new trends in food and personal care markets. I have summarized the latest food market trends in three keywords. Have you heard the term home economy? Beyond simply a residence, the home is where we enjoy culture and leisure. Home economy refers to the growing variety of economic activities that take place at home, expanding into a space where classes and work are held, as I mentioned earlier. Untacked consumption is no longer an option, but a necessity. As remote services increase, so have delivery and parcel services. In the past, delivery was limited to chicken and pizza. It's now an era in which all menu items, including Korean, Japanese, and Western cuisines, and even desserts, can be delivered. There is also another rapidly growing market, right? We are talking about the well-known HMR market of home meal replacement foods. The convenience food market is becoming more sophisticated and specialized. While it is centered mostly on frozen products, it now includes refrigerated or room temperature ones, offering even menus from famous restaurants. As more people cook at home due to COVID-19, the Korean HMR market is steadily recording an average annual growth rate of more than 20%. The Korea Agrofisheries and Food Trade Corporation predicted a market of $5 billion in 2022. And I think this is a great achievement because it is said that Korea will be able to reach it this year due to the aftermath of the pandemic. Recently, HMR food has expanded into RMR, restaurant meal replacement foods. These are premium convenience foods that emphasize healthier ingredients with specialized dishes from famous restaurants or certified by famous chefs. Isn't it great to be able to easily heat up food from a famous restaurant at home without having to go out far away? The second food trend keyword for today is eco-friendly green sumer. Have you heard the term green sumer before? Interest in eco-friendly alternatives is increasing and more and more consumers are thinking about the environment. Nowadays, there is a lot of talk about eco-necessity that goes beyond eco-friendly. As more and more green sumers question whether a product is eco-friendly or not when purchasing food, clothing, household items, and so on. More and more companies are also targeting them by launching clothing, natural cosmetics, vegan cosmetics, and vegan food using eco-friendly ingredients and materials. And not only products, the use of eco-friendly packaging materials is expanding as well. The same goes for paper bags, wrapping paper, paper cushioning materials, and paper straws. The food delivery industry is also drastically reducing the use of plastic and single-use packaging, and more and more places are using eco-packaging these days. The vegan craze, which is rapidly expanding from food to fashion and cosmetics, has quickly surged as a powerful keyword leading consumption trends this year. As of 2019, it is estimated that the number of vegetarians in Korea has increased more than tenfold within the last 10 years to an estimated 1.5 to 2 million today. There is emphasis on products not tested on animals and products without animal-derived ingredients. This is the social environment in which the MZ generation is leading the way by purchasing vegan-certified products. For the MZ generation, composed of millennials and Gen Z, ethical consumption is an extremely important value. And they pursue sustainable consumption that does not harm the environment and animals. Nowadays, consumers aim for active consumption where the very act of consumption changes society and influences the behavior of others. With these changes, there is a high possibility that the consumption standards of the MG generation will become the standard. That's why companies and brands cannot ignore the eco-friendly and vegan trends.
Would you like to live in a society where individual tastes are respected? Through social media platforms based on personal tastes and interests, such as Instagram, you can communicate and share easily with people who have similar interests. Samsung Electronics Bespoke, which has been receiving a lot of attention recently, is a result of this consumption trend. These days, products that reflect consumer preferences are a hot topic in the home appliance and automotive markets. That feature expensive and durable products, services that allow you to choose from a variety of options are popular trend too. It's not B2B or B2C anymore, it's D2C. Direct to consumer brands and services are popular nowadays. It's a service that communicates directly with consumers in the digital space and provides products specifically curated to suit their tastes. One of the brands that has achieved great growth by actively using consumer participation is Glossier. Through posts and comments of consumers' interests in cosmetics, sharing their experiences and personal opinions, the company developed products that were actually tailored to their needs. These consumption trends are not only being applied in the food, beverages, and cosmetics industry, but also in the automotive industry. For example, Renault Samsung collaborated with the street fashion brand Covernat to match the preferences of the 20s and 30s generation. Have you heard the term mint chocolate? It's a term used to describe people who love mint chocolate. There are a lot of teenagers and youngsters in their 20s these days who are really addicted to various desserts that contain mint chocolate. Though it's a bit difficult to understand from an adult's point of view, all of us should get used to a culture that respects individual preferences. Now let's take a brief look at the personal care market. Personal care market trends can also be summarized into three keywords. Even more important than the food market, let's look at the trends in the personal care market. There is a new term that combines convenience and premium and refers to consumers' preferences for convenient products or services that save time and effort. This term is convenium. High-performance or high-quality home appliances that increase consumers' time efficiency and are easy to use are gaining popularity worldwide. The best-known examples are robot vacuum cleaners, clothes dryers, and dishwashers. Dry cleaning and laundry collection apps are gaining popularity these days, right? This era is one where convenience is a competitive advantage. The term omni-layered homes was selected as one of Trend Korea's keyword for 2021. It refers to the transformation of a house into a multi-layered space in which other functions are added on top of basic functions that it should have. With the consumption industry selecting the house as the center of all changes in the future, the app Today's House is a platform that reflects this reality well. As the number of single-person household increases, along with interest in interior design, users who use this app share each other's know-how and form a community like an untacked housewarming party. Voluntary participation is possible with these apps. It's worth noting that the MZ generation enjoys decorating notebooks, phones, and rooms. This trend can be explained as a combination of social media culture and the pursuit of individuality of the MZ generation, who share these activities for their own satisfaction while showing them to many people by posting their experiences on their personal social media. The third trend in the personal care market is hyper-personalization. There is a baby crying analysis application by an audio AI startup called Deeply. Based on an audio database of over 70,000 hours of newborn babies under six months old, it is an app that notifies parents in advance of their baby's needs, such as when they are hungry, sleepy, need a change of a diaper, a hug, and so on. Reviews show results of 95% accuracy. There's another app called Quanda, which can solve math problems within five seconds by doing a search after you take a photo of it. On average, 400,000 people search 1.8 million math problems per day. When you search for AI-based mathematical solutions, the app also explains concepts. 
for related problems and recommends similar and more advanced problems too. We are developing these very hyper-personalized services. Hyper-personalization analyzes consumer preferences and provides them with products or services and are just like customized services that are tailored to the consumer's preferences. These services value personal individuality the most. The technology to provide precise and customized services and products to individuals by understanding in real time the consumer's context and situation will become increasingly important in the future. We have discussed until now some issues about food and personal care trends. Was this information relatable and helpful for you? There's one more thing I would like to add. This era is one where trends change incredibly quickly and are replaced by new ones in a flash. Remote services have changed from something born out of need to something that is absolutely necessary in today's era. Digital transformation is now an inevitable task that cannot be delayed any longer. In the future, I think that the entire process from manufacturing to sales will have to be done digitally together with consumers. A fast digital transformation, understanding and empathy for the MZ generation and generation of the future. You must know the importance of these two points. And if you thought that you should prepare as soon as possible for them, I think this lecture will be a very valuable lesson to you. This has been Yoon Ju Lee of Embrain, a specialized marketing research company. Thank you.